Hi, that Paul guy. Some of you might remember, or if you've seen any of my Talking Head videos, I've made mention of uh, switching over uh, to the Eclipse IDE from the NetBeans IDE because of everybody in the, the orientation class where I just started work overwhelmingly said that Eclipse is the one that they use. It might be just a little bit harder sometimes to set up, but more than, the, more than I'd say probably two-thirds of the class had said that they use this one exclusively because it's easier to use in the long run. So uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to kind of uh, go over a few things. The, the first thing is that if you're looking to download it, which I would go ahead and recommend, is uh, the latest download is going to be on this page right here. I'll provide the link in the, uh, in the, in the comments so everybody will be able to find it if they need to. Once you get it downloaded, it's going to be a zip file. You're going to have to unzip it. You're going to have to bring it back up. And then you're going to end up with something that's going to be similar to this. It might look a little bit different. You might have to play with your little windows here or get things to, to open up for you. But anybody that's worked with an IDE or some kind of text editor before or any kind of, uh, any kind of uh, editor of any type doing C++, Java, Python, whatever, will, will be familiar with this. So they'll be able to set it up, and it's not a big deal. What might not be as obvious is changing the backgrounds in case you wanted a different look and feel. So that's what I'm going to do here. We're going to go to Window, then Preferences, and the first part is going to Appearance, and you'll be able to see right off the bat you got a couple of different ones. You've got the Windows Classic Blue, you got the Olive, which is a, the greenish color, uh, dark and light and all that. I prefer to use dark. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that and close it. And there we have it. So th that looks fairly easy, but you might not be satisfied with some of the colors that you see in here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where to find where you can actually change that so that you don't have to keep that same same set of colors that you can actually do something else if you want to. So what we're going to go down, we're going to go into Java. We're going to open that up a little bit. We're going to go into Editor. And then we're going to Syntax Coloring. And the main reason I did this is because I didn't like this this brownish gray color that they were using for comments and I would much rather use something for the comments section uh, comments and stuff like that I would much rather use uh, like a greenish type color so you can you can all those are in here so I, as a matter of fact comments and I'm gonna change all of these to more of a greenish color that I'm used to seeing in Visual Studio And now I don't have to worry about that anymore because these will change for me. And those change, but I'm not sure why these didn't. Multi-line. So theoretically, if I make a multi-line comment here, ah, there we go. And there we have it. They're changed to green as well. So um, that does, or if I just do a single line comment, so we're good to go there. So that does change it, and that's a way to do it. So you, it's in window, preferences, and then if you're changing just the look and feel, it's going to go under general and appearance. If you're looking to change the text, you have to go to Java, and then editor, and then syntax coloring, and then choose which coloring you want which which set of colors that you want to change and then you'll be able to do it from that way so it, all of them broken down here as you can see different fields methods whatever uh, you know you can make them all individually you can make them all you know fit in however like way, however way you like to look at it uh, my one recommendation is be careful when you're doing highlighting because sometimes say if I had made my highlighting a bright green like this one it would be very very difficult for me to see the print line or the print or next dent or anything like that so uh, that's my only advice there once again like I said I'll go ahead and include this download link so that you can go to the uh, Eclipse uh, the Eclipse website to do the download for the most recent this is the 64 bit this the 32 bit uh, if anybody needs that kind of let me know and I'll, I'll be glad to give them that link as well but uh, that's just as easy to find it's under Eclipse and then downloads and then right here so uh, download packages you might have to go to to find a 32-bit.
anyway, so that's all I got. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and put that in there. There'll be some other things. This code, as a matter of fact, that I, we were looking at was code that I had actually done in one of my other tutorials with variables, setting those up. And uh, I did manage to import those from NetBeans to Eclipse, and I will show that in another video just a little bit further on. So that's all I got for now, guys. Once again, if it's helpful at all to you, like, dislike. If you if you didn't like it, uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what I can do better. Let me know if you're stuck on other things that you want to see. And, of course, uh, always feel for, free to uh, subscribe. And uh, until then, I will see you in the next one. I'll probably do at least one more face-to-face, -face, and I'll, I'll do another tutorial on, on how to move this stuff over from uh, NetBeans where I have been working to, Net, for, to Eclipse where I'm going to be working now.